So just another quick video about a question I got just before Christmas. If you could uh, do edits in Virtual DJ of tracks and then choose when to play those edits and when to play the original tracks. And yes, you can. Uh, of course, that's the old way of doing it. You can, for instance, uh, if you had tapped this track, you can go into the editor function, which is a track cleaner, and you can maybe censor part of it like that. Save that, give the name, and then you have a brand new track, which is the clean track or the edit track, if you will. You can put in whatever name you want. So of course you can then choose which one you play because you choose which one you load. But that was not what this guy was talking about. He was talking about changing a little bit using the POI editors and then uh, use the edits or use the originals. So you can do that too, actually. So I've loaded two tracks up here. And they both have a little white marker here, which is my p uh, point of interest. So uh, this one over here is actually a jump. So the idea being that this is a pretty slow part. So I wanted to jump 16 beats here. So if I play the track. You can see that it actually jumps 16 beats because that's in the POI. I'll show it in a second. The other one over here is, is a little bit uh, more interesting, maybe. That goes into a loop and at the same time kills the vocals. The idea being that you get an eternal loop that you can use for mixing into the next track. So if I play the track from here somewhere. It kills the vocals and goes into a pretty quiet loop that you can then use to mix into the next track. At least that stay there forever, if you will. But the problem is that this will always happen. So uh, what if I don't want it to happen? Well, then the, I think the easiest way is to create a global variable. So I've already done that and put it on a, a button here. So I've just put a simple toggle on a, a, a variable. I call it use edit version or use edited version, which this is short for, and a little dollar sign and that's so it's a global variable. So it'll, uh, even no matter which stack you set it on, it'll work anywhere. So that toggles it on and off, pretty simple, like that. And then of course I have to use that in my POI editor. So if I go in here and I go into this one, uh, which is uh, my jump, so it goes go to plus 16. I simply add var and the name of the variable and a question mark. So it's a case statement. Only if this is set should you do this. So now when I play the track again, close to the jump and I haven't pushed the button, it doesn't do anything. It just skips it so it actually plays the original edit. But if I press the button and I go in here again and play the track again. So now it's set to use the edit. Then it does the jump. So that's pretty cool. And of course I can do exactly the same thing on the other track. So go in here, go down to my loop, no vocals, action POI, which does the mute and, and the, the stems mute of the vocal and do the, the loop eight bars. I can again put in the var for my variable and the question mark, like that. Same thing, now it's not set, so nothing will happen when I get to it. Just to enable both of again. Nothing happens, it just continues, so that'll in effect be the original edit. But if I push the button and I do it again, then I use the edit so it'll kill the vocals and it'll do the eternal loop so you can mix out of it like that. So that's just a little example on how you can use a global variable and remember, of course, to put it into your POI uh, action points so that uh, you can do edits. 
uh, of your tracks and you can turn it on and off every time you use it.